Good morning. Um, I am meeting for um, a virtual brew with Rebecca Wood today. Hello, Rebecca. Good morning. Um, now, Rebecca is a professional actress and qualified teacher of drama and performing arts. Tell me a little bit about your background in, in your work uh, before lockdown. Well, I'm a very busy person. I teach in a high school. Um, I'm head of drama in a high school where I teach. And I also run a performing arts company where we have four classes spread over the week. And we have around 100 pupils come and we put on regular showcases and musicals, pantomimes, etc. Um, and I also do one-to-one -one singing lessons and lambda training. Right. And um, where does Act, Act One come into that? Or is that part of it, all, all of the, the work that we're doing? So Act One is the theatre classes and the one-to-one -one training. So we do our classes in the Mill and in Friesland. Right. We came in touch with each other by a post on Saddle of Life uh, magazine. And uh, you said that a lot of change for you during lockdown. I'm, I'm really interested to find out more about how businesses have actually adapted and changed to actually take in uh, what, what's actually happened to us. So please, can you tell me about that? So we had to close our classes down. Uh, it was a couple of weeks before lockdown, um, just because sort of hanging out different halls public halls we weren't able to control a lot of the things so we closed quite early um with our families and our pupils in mind really and their safety so we moved online um, and we offer we've offered competitions on our we have like a private facebook group for our parents and pupils so they've done like talent competitions where they've posted right. videos and we've judged them and we've done some lives online for them there um, we've done like video challenges, like a loo roll challenge, where they've been throwing like the loo roll and then we've made little videos and put it all together. <laughs> um, we've had classes, Zoom classes. So we've had, um, we've had a West End star came and uh, offered us a Zoom class. So we've got lots of the children involved in that. Uh, and we, tomorrow is dance class in the morning. Last week we had drama class. Um, we have lots of one-to-ones with me, singing lessons and acting lessons. So we've just, we keep mixing it up. Uh, keeping it interesting for them, uh, keeping them engaged and sort of trying to keep their love of drama and theatre alive. Tell us more about the um, West End actor. Um, so, uh, she's a lovely lady, she's, she's from Oldham, she's called Jenny Caldwell. Um, <laughs> and she, just before lockdown, was appearing in Six, the musical, which is a big smash hit at the moment, everyone's going mad for it. Um, she's appeared in the West End one and the tour, um, and I think she's played most of the roles, um, a very talented young lady. So she ran a, a, a workshop where the children could learn sort of the final number or a big chorus out of it, and they absolutely loved it. And then she gave them a little Q and A session at the end, um, oh. and they were totally inspired. They asked her all sorts of questions about how to get into the business and favourite roles she'd ever played. I asked her all sorts of things about costume and how how the theatre worked. So they gained a lot lot from it. They really enjoyed it. Oh, that sounds amazing. It must oh, it be amazing for them, for them to talk to somebody who they know is in, in, in such a professional capacity. Brilliant. And probably wouldn't have happened before lockdown because it's hard to be busy and they're working and then to, to pop back up to Saddleworth is not quite easy. So to do it over Zoom was the perfect platform, really. That's absolutely wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> um, what sort of ages are you doing? You think children and parents. What sort of ages are the children? So um, our people start at three. So right. we've got, um, we have like a, we call them the theatre books and the drama books. So they're like three, four, five, six. Uh, and then we have acting classes from seven up towards 17. Right. Okay. And how, how do the little ones manage with Zoom? Um, so we've done pair involvement really. Right. So the thing with them has been more like sort of disco games, drama games. And we've had the parents with them in the room. Um, and it's, it's been a bit more led by me, so they can just dance along to the songs and we've done scavenger hunts and things. It's just for them to see each other, uh, have a bit of fun and break up a bit of the monotony for them. Yeah, yeah, I think that's one of the things, um, mm. is that communication um, and that connection with people so that they're actually uh, yeah. seeing each other because that's one thing that we are missing with, with, with the lockdown. Mm. But as it's slowly lifting, then that, that's getting slightly easier, isn't it? So. It is. Yeah. yeah. Can you uh, foresee when 
things might get a little normal for you? Um, at the moment, we've got no plans to change back to physical classes. Um, they are reopening schools, obviously wider opening. Um, but we have students for a real mix of ages and they all go to different schools and I don't really want the risk at the moment. So we're just going to continue as we are, uh, stay in touch and just keep reading the gov government guidance. And maybe probably September we'll, we'll try and st restart classes, but maybe we'll change into the slightly smaller staggered start times. Uh, I'm not sure yet. We'll, we'll just, we'll do it week by week yeah. and see how it goes. See how it goes, yes. Yeah see how it goes. I think that's the same with a lot of community groups. Um, they, they just don't know where, where things are and that now they've found that norm um, that they're happy with and everybody they're happy with and feels safe with, um, then I, I think the actual move to, to actually getting out of lock, lockdown um, a bit unknown and we want to stay where we are, where we are safe. But um, yeah, I, yeah, let, let's hope you can get back together again soon. Uh, Hopefully, but we don't know about the shows on just yet. We'll have to uh, I'll see how that goes with the uh, yeah. social media theatres will be complicated. Yeah. So can you tell me, uh, what, what's uh, the best thing about what you do with um, Act One and, and your teaching? Do you mean now or before the lockdown? Either. Um, I think so probably the before, um, it's the connection with the pupils and inspiring another theatre, building confidence in them, seeing new connections made, um, especially when we do shows, the teamwork, so they all look after each other, that we don't have any stars, they've all got a part to play, um, mm -hmm. they all work together, they, they help out backstage with the staff as well, the little ones love being in the shows because they see the big ones, so where they can go to when they're a bit older. So it's, it's the whole camaraderie, I think, of it all, the, the enjoyment, and then seeing the parents' proud faces when we do our productions is lovely. <laughs> uh, it must be so rewarding to, to have a, um, a whole production and all these little ones who are doing your work. Well, not your work, but they, they're enjoying themselves. Yeah, so rewarding. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so in saying that, being rewarding, what, what's, what's been, could you put your finger on what your proudest moment is during um, the time of... Oh goodness, that's a hard one, there's so many. Um, have a think. I think maybe uh, it's the longevity that I've been keep, kept going, so we're 18 years into Act One now. Wow. I, when I started, I had a sort of about five or six children in a Mill, a little class, and it's gone on with our four classes and private students, and the shows have got bigger and bigger. And I think every show I try and better myself. So every show I think, oh, this is the best. <laughs> Must do better next time. <laughs> so I think it's that really. I would love to get them all together on a stage one day and do something to celebrate maybe at 20 years, got a couple of years to plan it. <laughs> Are you working towards anything at the moment or is that all sort of on hold? Well we were just before uh, lockdown started we had literally just started rehearsals we were going to do um, an Alice in Wonderland production. Oh wow. Yeah so we had all the little children who were going to be um, all the little cards and we had all the older children had the parts and we got different songs in and pop songs and shows different shows all different musicals so it would have been really exciting. So we're just hanging on, really, and we'll, we might revisit it next summer. That sounds wonderful. <laughs> wonderful. And a real wonderland, a little bit surreal, yeah. like, like, like what we're going through at the moment. <laughs> yeah. It it quite well, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. It does, yeah. So what have what you done as an actress? What Have you got any claims to fame? Um, I did um, just sort of Fringe theatre when I was, uh, oh gosh now, so 21, 22, so I did a couple of things on sort of the fringe of London, to German Street Theatre, I did some short films, um, I've done a couple of like one-off musical nights, I did something at the Lowry not long ago, um, and then I do quite a lot of amateur really now, focus more on the children, so I did um, Still a Queen of the Desert, that was at Oldham Coliseum a couple of years ago, Yeah. Um, what else have I done recently? Uh, Chicago at Grange Theatre. That was uh, last year. All right. Uh, Mosley. I've done some with Mosley. We did the full Monty. So quite busy with 
the Amdram things. I've done a couple of training videos as professional. So um, I've done training videos for like Iceland and things like that. So just bits and bats where I can fit it in, really. Ah, so you are, you're, you're not, you're also a performer. <laughs> your own thing, aren't you? At the same yeah. time, you're actually teaching others, which is fantastic. Yeah, I do keep busy. <laughs> yeah. Do you have time for any hobbies? Uh, just performing, really, just doing that. Um, and then I've, I've got two little boys. I've got a five-year-old and a nine-year-old. So we keep, we keep busy with them, and they've got all their mm -hmm. various activities and, and things. And a dog. <laughs> Do they get involved with the... Uh, yeah, they're both in. Yeah, they're both really involved. They're both really into it, which is great. Wonderful. Yeah. You seem like a very driven lady and passionate about what you do. It's wonderful. Um, do you have a mantra for getting through it all? What, what helps you? I think my mantra is quite a simple one. It's just keep smiling. Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> keep smiling and the whole world smiles with you. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. Smile, smile at the children. They smile back. They enjoy it. Smile at the family at home. <laughs> Even if they're driving me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. That's absolutely wonderful. Well, thank you very much for your time, Rebecca. I know I've had, you've had to, uh, we've had a few problems with, with uh, getting together this morning. Um, and uh, you've got work to get to getting on with. You've got a lesson to get on with in a minute. Uh -huh. So thank you very much for squeezing me in. Um, can I just say uh, to anyone who's watching this, um, if you're interested, please share. Um, or if you're a fan of Rebecca, uh, please share. Um, if you're interested in supporting uh, Saddleworth, uh, Saddleworth Life, um, your lifestyle or a well-being business, uh, we'd love to. I'd love to hear from you. Or if you have any ins other inspiring stories or you want to share your story of how you actually have uh, managed through lockdown and, and how positive you've been, um, again, please get in touch. But for now, thank you very much, Rebecca. It's been, you're a ray of sunshine. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you for having me. Time, um, during lockdown and, and, and cross fingers that we're, we're back to some sort of normality for you very soon. Thank you.